at 5 o'clock this morning, a Colorado community heartbroken after a horrific shooting at an LGBTQ plus nightclub. At least five people were killed and 25 others were injured, but the death toll could have been much worse. Reporter Amy Kiley explains how the shooter was confronted. This is our home, you know, this is our space. For a lot of people like myself, we don't have families, so LGBT people really need somewhere that is a safe space, and Club Q gave that to us. A safe space. Those words come up a lot when patrons describe Club Q in Colorado Springs. But a deadly shooting shattered that feeling of security in the final minutes of Saturday night. Police say the suspect was firing just before midnight yesterday. That was the start of the transgender day of remembrance. The shots started to ring and everybody started to scream and swarm out. It was so scary. I heard shots, broken glass, bodies. It was always good energy. It was never bad energy and it just sucks that we'll never be able to like have that ever again. Officials say at least two heroes confronted and subdued the gunman. The mayor says they grabbed the suspect's handgun and hit him with it. It could have been much, much worse, worse but for these uh, heroic actors. At a vigil yesterday, some focused on trying to regain that sense of a safe space. We're going to make sure that we are bringing change for our community and raising voices for our community. Not letting fear win. I know that my friends that we lost wouldn't want that. Amy Kiley, today in Florida. Officials say the 22-year-old sus suspected gunman was arrested last year for threatening his mother with a homemade bomb and other weapons.